Hey everyone, welcome back to the new lecture with ISO IEC 1725 2017 edition and under management system we have control of management system documents option A documents anything can be prepared inside the lab to fulfill the requirement of ISO IEC 1725 to perform any work inside the lab documents created when the work need to be done so, you should control all documents inside the lab, all documents under your quality management system. The lab shall control the documents, whether internal or external. Internal documents such as quality management system procedures. All prepared documents inside the lab to fulfill the requirement of ISO 17025. And external sources, external sources such as international guidelines or standards used inside the lab. These are external documents. So if you have hard copy documents or digital documents such as software, you should control all of these documents. And in the same point as mentioned in note one, that documents can be hard copy or digital. Before that, in 2005 edition, they mentioned software clearly as documents. And here they mentioned only hard copy or digital, internal and external documents. And they didn't mention software, but software will be included in digital. Uh, so in 2005 edition, software mentioned clearly, but here mentioned under digital documents. So from the first point, all documents, whether hard copy or digital documents, internal or external documents shall be controlled. And also in 2005 edition 431 general, the lab shall establish and maintain procedures. So it's must, you have to prepare a procedure to control all documents that form part of its management system, whether internally generated or from external sources. So in 2005 edition was mandatory to prepare a procedure to control all documents inside the lab, whether internally or external documents. But in 2017 edition, there is more flexibility. You don't need to prepare a procedure. You can find a way to control your documents, but you don't need to prepare a procedure. If your lab was prepared or accredited according to 2005 edition, so you have this procedure. If you want to keep, there is no problem. But if you don't want to keep or you don't want to prepare a new one, that's no problem from that. Also, you can find in 2005 edition that a master list or an equivalent document control procedure identifying the current revision status and distribution of documents inside the management system shall be established and to include obsolete documents. So master list was mentioned before in 2005 edition, but not mentioned in 2017 edition. But as I found, master list is very important and very useful in, inside the lab to organize all documents inside the lab. So it's better to keep master list if you already prepared before and if you didn't prepare try to prepare because it's very useful to organize all of your documents inside the lab, including also obsolete documents. If you want to prepare hard copy master list, you should prepare different type of lists. The quality manager will send to each unit inside the lab their specific lists that including all documents that they use. As example, you will have list of procedures for your unit, list of forms for your unit, and also any other documents controlled under this unit under quality management procedure. And also list of equipments. List of equipments not from the documents, but also it's very important to be inside each unit. So master list will be including all of these documents, but you can divide. You can find list for procedures, list for forms, and you will include in this list serial number, type of documents, if it's form or procedure, or if you don't need to add this point, no problem, because the name, list of procedures or list of forms. Issue number, issue one, or if you did any change or modification, so you will make another issue. And issue date, 
when did you issue this form and obsolete it or not if you remove this form or procedure form your uh, list you should write if it's obsolete or not should be included also control of documents can be electronically through lens where all documents shall be uploaded in a shared folder and shall be specified for each unit for each unit they will have a specific folder inside this shared folder and they can only have access to this folder in this folder they will find all documents for them and whether controlled original or obsolete documents original will be only for the quality team quality manager list of documents after that will be prepared you will prepare also specific list for each list of forms list of procedures as i said before list of external sources and will be prepared and link it to the required documents link it to this folder once you press on this uh, link you will go to the document itself and in this document you should add also the document status of document if it's controlled or original or obsolete and also all of these documents will be uploaded but you should have the controlled uh, uh, you should mark it with controlled or original or obsolete on the phone before before uploading to the shared folder to simplify this point it will be as in this table serial number type of document issue number type of document also you can add the name of the form or the name of procedure issue number issue date and the status of the document if it's controlled original or obsolete and link in this link you will connect this link it will be connected to the shared folder for each unit and all documents all documents shall be marked by controlled original or obsolete before uploading so if you press on this link you will go to the document itself and you can print but all documents shall be marked with controlled original or obsolete document that's the easiest way i found to control the documents electronically but if you have any other way there is no problem from that they didn't mention how to do this it's a flexible for the lab second point the lab shall ensure that documents are approved by an authorized personnel who is competent enough and has the experience to do that as mentioned before in six to personal so all technical documents will be approved by the technical lead for each unit and quality documents will be approved by the quality lead for each unit also if you have purchasing documents by the purchasing officer if you have training documents will be by the training officer so the person who is content enough and has the experience to approve these documents will do that also the lab shall ensure that documents are periodically reviewed and updated as necessary for internal documents internal documents refer what the lab is actually doing right now and if there is any modification they shall update this document so update in case of modification and you, you should write the modification also in details what you did and for external documents latest version should be used so all documents inside the lab shall be periodically reviewed and updated as necessary so all documents inside the lab shall be revised within a specific time during the year you shall revise all documents under quality management system you shall determine a specific time to revise some of them as example every three months you will determine specific documents to be revised and other three months you will determine other documents but at the end of the year you shall revise all of your documents and update them as necessary and same also mentioned before in 2005 edition there is no change and also the lab shall ensure that changes and the current revision states of the documents are identified if you did any change to the document you shall identify the changes and the current revision or the current version of the document and in 2005 edition altered or new text shall be identified in the document or the appropriate attachment as example for that if you want to make any modification to any of your procedure you will identify at the beginning what type of modification that you did and in which line you did this and you will 
issue new version of this procedure and that was same also like in 2005 edition also the lab shall ensure that relevant versions of applicable documents are available at points of use at the specified unit once this document will be approved or authorized shall be applicable or available at the point of use or at the specified unit when necessary their distribution is controlled there should be access specific access for this unit to get this document in 2005 edition authorized editions of appropriate documents available at all locations and that's same also like in 2017 edition there is no change and the lab shall ensure that documents are uniquely identified and that's more flexible than what was in 2005 edition where management system documents generated by the lab shall be uniquely identified and this identification shall include the following points issue date revision identification paging page numbering total number of pages and issuing authority so you have to you shall add these points for identification but here it's more flexible than what was in 2005 edition and the lab shall ensure that unintended use of obsolete documents is prevented obsolete documents cannot be used after that shall be removed from all units inside the lab but only can be kept with the quality lead of the lab for further reference but shall have a suitable identification shall be marked with obsolete documents so you will have controlled documents that will be inside units and original and obsolete documents shall be kept with the quality lead of the lab unintended use of obsolete documents is prevented and suitable identification is applied to them if they are retained for any purpose and that's same like what was in 2005 edition same requirements but more simplified and another clause under management system requirement control of records after you prepared all documents required to fulfill the requirement of ISO 17025 and also other guidelines these are documents forms procedures anything under this quality management system these are documents prepared to fulfill the requirement of ISO 17025 but you need to record all data created so these are records such as report test testing report calibration certificate in calibration laboratory audit report corrective and preventive action minutes of meeting that will be monthly and also management review and other records also so as example for that in calibration lab in calibration lab there is a procedure for how to perform calibration this is a document but when you fill that in calibration certificate when you give the result to the customer this is calibration certificate that will be the end product that will be the record for the lab so documents created when the work need to be done but records created when the work is finalized and you want to record the data first requirement lab shall establish and retain eligible records to demonstrate the fulfillment of the requirement of this document but in 2005 edition lab shall establish and maintain procedures for identification collection indexing access filling storage maintenance and disposal of quality and technical records and quality records shall include internal audit report management review reports and also corrective and preventive action report so here in 2017 edition is more flexible and also there is no need to prepare a specific procedure for retaining records and finally the lab shall implement the controls needed for identification protection storage backup archiving retrieval retention time and disposal of its records I found it's very important here to have a specific procedure for retaining records including all of these points to be organized well but it's not mandatory because they didn't mention like in 2005 edition you shall have a procedure for that so it's more flexible in 2017 edition but identification first identification the records shall be identified with a specific name issue number and issue date and that will be for all records inside the lab access for these records access should be controlled for only the specified unit if you have hard copy or digital hard copy you will have all of your records inside the specific file inside the unit and digital 
through lens or shared folder you should keep a specific folder for each unit and that shall be accessed or controlled to be accessed only for the specified persons in by inside this unit and retaining records retaining records is very important you shall keep the records inside the unit for a specific time after this time you shall make archiving for these records and that will depend on the lab capacity as example if the lab has many samples analyzed every day in this case they shall retain records for a specific time which is not much as example every six months they will archive these records and in some cases they, may, they, they have less work or less number of samples in this case they can retain records for more time as example every one year they shall retain the records and after this year they can archive so that will depend on the lab capacity if you write in your procedure that you shall retain records for one year then make archiving so you shall do this whatever you will write inside the procedure you shall do and to protect the records or the results against loss you shall have backup you can do this backup every week as example but you can have a specific form that you did backup in this week and you sign and you can have specific portable hard for each unit to keep all of their results for this backup and all the records shall be available that was the end of our lecture for today thank you and see you in the next lecture